Good morning, besties. It is currently Tuesday, January 16th, and I just woke up. Here in Colorado, we've had a couple of snow days where the roads literally freeze. That means Jonathan hasn't been going to the gym early in the morning, which means that I've gotten to sleep in a couple of days. So I'm feeling good, but I'm not looking good, you know? I actually have clean hair. I showered, washed, and blow dried my hair last night and then put it in my overnight curls, but I haven't done my eyelash extension, so we need to do that. But first and foremost, we need to do the best. Also, I am 32 weeks and I'm ready to go. Let's have the baby. Let's let's get it going. Let's get these eyes situated. I'm gonna do some DIY lash extensions. I think this time I'm gonna go a little shorter than usual and see how I like that. I'm gonna catch up on my subscription box while I do this because it's my me time. Okay, what do you think? This is how they turned out. I just did size 12 on my entire lid and I double stacked them, of course, and they look so good. I'm so excited. Now let's get ready for the day. I'm gonna do my makeup really quick. I actually try to get ready almost every single day because I have found that that is one of the main things that makes me feel confident and pretty and good. And in order to have a productive day full of energy, getting ready definitely gets me set up for that. As I mentioned earlier, I am 32 weeks, which means I'm in my third trimester already. I did a first trimester update and Q&A for you guys so since I'm in my third I'm gonna do a second trimester update the main reason I like to do these videos because I feel like it helps people relate to pregnancy and since this is my second one I obviously have something to compare it to and I want to tell you guys all the tea about how crazy it is to be pregnant with your second child I definitely want to start off with the most obvious symptoms that I began to experience in my second trimester one of them being heartburn this one was a little crazy because I experienced heartburn in my first pregnancy but i didn't experience it until i was around 35 to 36 weeks which was almost at the end so i didn't have to experience it for a very long time and as soon as i gave birth it went away so to start experiencing it in my second trimester i was in shock and also very sad because if you know heartburn it does not feel good. A new symptom I started experiencing, which I didn't experience in my first pregnancy, was sciatic pain. That one started in my second trimester, but it got progressively worse. And right now that I'm in my third one, it's probably the worst it's ever been. And hopefully the worst it's going to be because it's pretty bad. It's pretty painful. I can't really walk. I literally walk like if I am 12 months pregnant or something. And not only is it obviously inconvenient, but it's very uncomfortable. I definitely don't want to sit here and say that it's all been a really bad experience because i've actually experienced some good things and one of them being is my skin my skin has always been textured obviously but my skin has always been acne prone i've always had cystic acne somewhere in my face rare would be the moments where i didn't have any breakouts any buried pimples and in my second trimester my skin literally cleared and i'm loving it i'm taking advantage just in case it doesn't last long but that has been one of the pros I have been nauseous since the beginning, but I still get nauseous to this day and I get the ick for food I get food aversions. I have a really really strong sense of smell I can probably smell you through the screen right now And it's just so uncomfortable because I am such a big smell person So if I walk into a restaurant and I love the restaurant, but it smells a little different a little iffy a little off I will not eat if I'm about to eat, but I smell something that I don't like I will not eat. I will get nauseous. I will want to throw up. Being nauseous is already uncomfortable, but knowing that you're gonna throw up and that the only way you can feel better is by throwing up sucks. <sighs> I've been sitting on the floor for seven minutes and my feet are asleep, so that's great. I knew I'd be exhausted. I didn't know I'd be this exhausted. And obviously it's different because I have a toddler running around. My second trimester, I started taking Franco's two-hour naps because I just cannot function without a nap anymore. So that's been a great solution. I do not mind taking naps. I do wish that I could get more work done throughout the day while he's napping, but I'd rather have energy to play with him when he wakes up than be a zombie. I finished my makeup right before the sun started to change, so let's go see how these overnight curls turned out. 
Something else I began experiencing in my second trimester is pregnancy insomnia. I cannot sleep at night for the life of me. So that is why I've been really taking advantage of these days where I can sleep in. I did mention in my first trimester video that I could not stand anything on my belly at all. No tight clothes and I still can't. I usually just sleep with pajama pants because not only can I not stand anything on my belly, I get really, really hot. And these pajamas get washed literally every two days. These are my Skims PJs. They are so comfortable. They go over my belly easily and look at how much they stretch. They're loose, they're comfortable. They are everything I'm looking for and more. This Skims shirt has been my best friend because it is so soft. It does not feel like I'm wearing anything at all. If you guys can see, it's very stretchy. But something I focus on the most is probably my undergarments because again, I have to wear underwear and I have to wear a bra, but I need them to be comfortable. Do so you guys know that I have been talking about the Skims Fits Everybody collection for a very long time now and it is all that i wear right now i have the boy short in the color espresso and look at how high-waisted they are they're still stretchy they're soft they don't feel uncomfortable this is basically what i sleep in every night i have the color espresso the color onyx and the color sand so i have quite a few to choose from and to pair with it i have the crossover bralette this is so comfortable it does not have an underwire so i absolutely wear this to sleep and then all day i just love having matching undergarments it makes me feel more put together Skims is creating the next generation of underwear for everybody. The Fits Everybody collection of underwear is super lightweight and molds to your body. The buttery soft fabric stretches to twice its size without ever losing shape, meaning you get a perfect fit every time. And also if you're looking for a gift for your valentine or for yourself, Skims just launched their best valentine's shop ever, also available at skims.com. The Fits Everybody collection is available in sizes from extra extra small up to 4x, which is amazing. I've definitely been stocking up and i have all of my garments like this boy short i have the full brief and the high-waisted thong in the size large because i knew that those were going to fit me throughout my entire pregnancy but then i just recently started ordering a size small for my postpartum journey when i'm going to be wearing a faja when my belly's going to be going down and i'm going to need to feel a little bit tighter so i ordered this full brief in the color onyx and as you can see here's where it stretches up to twice its size and it never loses its shape you can wash it rewash it rewear it and you will still get the perfect fit every time i also went ahead and placed an order for more of my scoop neck bralettes because i absolutely love these i also have the razorback bralettes just in case i feel the need to have a little bit more coverage and more support and as always i'm here to tell you guys to believe the hype skims has over 100 000 five star reviews for a reason click the link in the description box to check out the fits everybody collection and more perfect fit essentials plus you get free shipping on orders over 70 now after you place your order please let them know that i sent you all you have to do is select youtube in the survey and then click my channel from the drop down menu but also on the website all underwear are buy three for 36 dollars take advantage and change up your undergarment collection this year you will not regret it now i'm gonna find something to change into something comfortable cute and convenient because it is 9 a.m i'm starving and i'm gonna go get some food Okay, I just put on an oversized half zip pullover. Another symptom that developed in my second trimester is strong odor. And unfortunately, I have to wear clinical deodorant. I go in with the tiniest bit. I obviously don't overdo it. And even with the tiniest bit, I feel like by the end of the day, I don't smell like onion. So that's good. And since my sense of smell has been so strong, I usually just go with a light body spray. It's gonna make me feel like I smell good without smelling too strong and that's basically what takes my energy for the whole day because now I'm tired and hungry. I think I'm gonna have to keep them on a side part like this which I cannot even remember the last time I had a side part. I also did ask you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram just to recap how my second trimester has been going and you guys did so let me answer some questions. My hair is really starting to get on my nerves. I'm so sorry. What are the differences from both pregnancies? Although I already listed quite a few of them, I do feel like this pregnancy is just completely different. It's just that this time around, I actually feel pregnant. And when I was pregnant with Franco, I didn't feel pregnant. 
Any tips for nausea? I used to think that I had my nausea under control, but it just comes in waves. And right now I'm currently nauseous and I don't even know if I'm going to be able to have breakfast. And I did recently notice that caffeine was my trigger for my heartburn, but sometimes caffeine also soothes my nausea. So I have to choose my battles. I drink caffeine and then I pop a Tums and call it a day. <laughs> have you gained weight? This is a huge difference from my pregnancy with Franco and my pregnancy now. With Franco, the day that I gave birth, I was 170 pounds which was only 10 pounds over my pre-pregnancy weight I did get pregnant after COVID so I did gain a little bit of weight during COVID I think I gained about 15 pounds so I was 160 prior to getting pregnant and the day I gave birth I was 170 so I only gained 10 pounds with him and now this time around I was 145 pounds before I got pregnant and right now I'm currently sitting at 160 pounds so I've already gained 15 pounds and I still have seven weeks to go so that has been another huge difference alongside that she is actually currently measuring a week ahead so she is a little bit bigger than franco she is giving bigger vibes and i wouldn't be surprised if jonathan was born at 10 pounds so there's a huge possibility that she will be born bigger too are you scared of this birth already knowing the pain and do you plan on using an epidural so i didn't have an epidural with franco my labor was super fast super smooth however i do know that every pregnancy is different so every labor and delivery is different as well i am going in it with the same same thoughts no epidural and gonna try to labor at home as much as i possibly can but it's not my set in stone plan i don't have a birth plan all i'm gonna do is go in there when i'm ready to give birth and we'll just take it from there i'm currently not nervous because it doesn't feel very close but probably when i get closer i'm gonna be a little bit scared how did you prepare for birth i would love to go natural but i get so scared that it'll be too much pain any tips the main thing that helped me out the main thing that helped me is keep moving when you get to the hospital when you get admitted keep walking keep bouncing on a ball keep doing exercises another thing that was huge for me is sitting on the toilet because what i like to say is that although contractions are very painful what you also feel is a lot of pressure it just feels like you have to take the biggest poop of your life my nurse told me oh do you want to just sit on the toilet just in case you feel like pushing maybe it's going to make you feel a little bit better sat on the toilet i grabbed my two combs which are just plastic combs you can get at the dollar store whatever comb you have for your hair grab it squeeze it make sure that the the teeth are going into your palm squeeze it and just sit there on the toilet and breathe through the contractions that was what mainly helped and then when i was gonna lay down and start pushing i kept holding on to my combs and i pushed them right out i was in active labor like at the hospital admitted for two hours and a half before i had him and i just really like to think that i was blessed with a super fast and smooth labor a couple weeks ago i let you know on my instagram that they let me know that there's an rsv vaccine available for moms now and this is the first year that it's going to be available every doctor that i've spoken to has said that they are very pro this vaccine they trust it a lot and although rsv is very scary and god forbid we ever have to deal with that and thankfully we haven't yet with franco thankfully when i'm pregnant i do not get any shots not even the flu vaccine i don't even get the flu vaccine when i'm not pregnant so while i'm pregnant i tend to not get vaccines and to each their own i know there's a lot of people pro vaccines while they're pregnant but personally for me i didn't take anything when i was pregnant with franco so i'm not going to do it with this pregnancy either someone asked do stretch marks show up faster the second time around the thought makes me nervous stretch marks are a very hot topic because because people think that you can prevent them and although you can do a lot of things to moisturize and help your belly when it's stretching stretch marks can be genetic so if they're genetic there's no way that you can prevent them i moisturized i oiled i did everything i possibly could and i still got some gnarly stretch marks during my pregnancy with franco to answer your question they don't show up faster the second time around i feel like because they're already there your belly already knew that it stretched that much i have not gotten new ones at all my stretch marks were already fading when i got pregnant so they still look very light they are not as bright red and purple as they were with franco's pregnancy so basically if you already have them for your second time around i i don't think that they're gonna get worse they're just gonna still be there how do you do it to not feel insecure while your entire body is changing all i know is that i am creating life inside this body it doesn't matter how much weight i gain how big i get how many stretch marks i get i am creating 
a heartbeat, bones, hair, teeth. Like nobody can tell me nothing. It is a little bit harder to dress it up because you have a whole ass belly, but I've never been as confident as I am when I'm pregnant. They say second trimester is a breeze. Do you feel the same with it being your second baby? Absolutely not. The second trimester was not a breeze. It is a trimester where I was introduced to symptoms that were only gonna keep getting worse throughout my third trimester. So it absolutely was not a breeze. How was your sex drive in the second trimester? I feel like during my second trimester, since I was introduced to a lot of symptoms that I didn't experience the first time around, my sex drive wasn't very high. But as I started entering my third trimester, it skyrocketed. Do you watch what you eat at all while pregnant? No, I literally just try to get protein and nutritious foods in. But I do eat a lot of sweets and a lot of chips. I'm really just eating whatever I want. But something else that I have been experiencing this pregnancy is that I can't eat a lot. I feel full. I do feel like she's really big for some reason. So I feel like when I eat, all my food just stays in my chest. Like it doesn't even go down into my stomach. I feel like my stomach is non-existent. So I have to eat really slow, really small portions. And it sucks because I'm supposed to be taking advantage of eating whatever I want want because i'm pregnant and that's what i did the first time around now as much as i would love to eat a lot i can't so not only do i feel big on the outside i feel huge on the inside too and i just feel like i can't breathe and it's a little it's just a little hard okay did you pass your glucose test i did are you gonna film this birth as well yes i do plan to film this labor and delivery too i'm so excited last question i'm gonna answer is why did you have your baby shower so early i had it so early because as i said i am getting bigger i am getting more exhausted and i wanted to actually enjoy my baby shower and actually enjoy being around everybody i had it early just to prepare because even right now at 32 weeks i am waddling i wanted to take advantage of my energy and just get it out of the way early and also because i want to be fully prepared just in case because they do say that second babies usually come a little bit sooner like around 38 weeks so it's just much more convenient to have my baby shower early but i just got a notification that there was a person seen so i think jonathan just got here and i'm gonna go have my breakfast let's have breakfast we have chick-fil-a breakfast the best Estás comiendo, amor? Mm. Wow. Está bien fuerte. No, pues yo no te puedo decir de que no se va a morir. Bro. Outer space That's where I'll see your